I want you all to now look around you and see how beautiful it is when brothers and sisters sit together. And how much can we do when we all sit and work together? We have brought together 40 congregations from the Muslim, Jewish, Unitarian, Christian traditions to promote a new dominion of justice and inclusion in the old dominion of privilege of Virginia. My name is Reverend Janet Parker from Rock Spring Congregational United Church of Christ. My name is Leonard Koenig. I'm with Congregation Ace High. And I'm Roseanne Ashby from St. Mary's Episcopal Church. I'm one of the core team members of Voice for our church. We pledge 30 people. We have 30 people here. Well, we pledge the cops from Lomax Church. We pledge 25 people. And at this point, we have at least 25. <laughs> <laughs> I am Mary Kelly from St. Charles Borromeo. We pledge to bring 55 leaders. Today, we have more than 55 leaders here. I am Jay Kennedy from Arlington Presbyterian Church. We have pledged to bring 10 representatives. We have 10 here. Good afternoon. I'm Sandra Three from Macedonia Baptist Church. We pledge 30 leaders. We have 60 leaders here. <laughs> My name is Mike Hynett, and I'm from the Unitarian Universalist Church of Arlington. We pledged 50 leaders. Today we have 66. And our church is pledging $15,000 for $2,000. Our church pledged $10,000 for 2009. And for 2009, we are pledging $5,000. Our church has pledged pledged $10,000 for $2,000. Our church has pledged $10,000. Purpose of voice is to partner with our political leaders to prevent further erosion of our precious diversity and to strengthen social equity, even the current economic crisis. In fact, it is in tough economic times like these that we discover what our real priorities are. In January 2008, I began experiencing severe pain in one of my teeth. Being a person of limited means, and I asked myself the question, and I ask you, you know, um, are families even welcome here anymore? I mean, it's discouraging to see that here. And the next question, I guess, is are those of us who work and serve here um, not good enough to live here? <laughs> Half of our affordable rentals in the past decade went off the market in Arlington. While McMansions flourished, a large, diverse, lower income immigrant neighborhood lost its name, Arna Valley. And as its name disappeared, a community was scattered to the four winds. Some might debate that. It's the truth. If this happens in the best of times, what may happen in the worst of times? Soy de El Salvador, soy residente de Arlington. Soy madre de cuatro hijos. Ellos, gracias a Dios, han nacido en Arlington. I'm looking forward to being a better student and graduate from Northern Virginia Community College as a pharmacy technician. I am here today to share with you how Arlington County Safety Nets, and particularly emergency services, has been a blessing to me and my family. My name is Sharon Core. I'm the pastor at Arlington Presbyterian Church. The Arlington Community of Faith is an excited member of Voice, and we are glad to be here today. We attended the founding action on October 5, 2008, when 2,300 people from over 40 faith communities gathered in Dumfries, Virginia to introduce voice and the voice agenda to elected officials from Alexandria, Arlington, Fairfax, and Prince William counties. Our action agenda has grown out of the relationships among congregation members and between the members of our religious institutions and the people in the community whom we serve. Voice leaders conducted hundreds of house meetings here and in other jurisdictions as we have shared time together and listened to one another's deepest concerns for ourselves and those in our communities. 
When we gathered in Dumfries, we affirmed that the measure of our public institutions would be this. Do we move towards the vulnerable, especially in hard economic times? When money is tight, programs that strengthen our communities and protect our most vulnerable brothers and sisters are the first on the budget shopping block. We were encouraged by the support we received that day in October, but we knew that our hopes to preserve affordable housing, increase access to dental care, and protect and expand English as a second language in these challenging economic times would come down to budget decisions in each jurisdiction. Will you commit to allocate $25,000 in the FY210 Arlington budget in order to add a full-time dentist to the Northern Virginia Dental Clinic? Yes. Thank you. Will you commit to hold the line in the FY210 budget, making no cuts to the Affordable Housing Investment Fund or housing grants, transitional housing grants, permanent supportive housing, and the homeless shelter programs? Yes. As the demand increases, are you willing to further enhance the safety net programs for housing and emergency needs and FY210? Oh, yes. Will you commit to allocate $25,000 in the fiscal year 2010 to add a full-time dentist to the Northern Virginia Dental Clinic? As we discussed earlier, yes. Will you commit to hold the line in fiscal year 2010, making no cuts to the Affordable Housing Investment Fund, housing grants, transitional housing grants? The answer to that one is yes. Okay. Will you commit not to cut funding for English as a second language in the fiscal year 2010? The answer to that is also yes. against poor, north against south, black against white, native against immigrant. But that's not true here. Look at what they're doing here. The house that we're in right now is not divided, it's coming together. The house that we're in right now isn't falling apart, it's rising up. And what we ought to be excited about is that there is a community spirit, a spirit that, that exists here, a burning desire to be more than a bystander, but to be a participator, to be more than just followers, but to be leaders. Something is happening here. When it's not enough to live life on standby, we've got to recognize we determine in our spirit to get up, to rise up, to stand up, and most of all, tell your neighbor, speak up. Speak up. While I'm grateful to the leaders that are here, there's more we can do right now. While I'm grateful for the yeses and even the maybes, there are some things where we need to change maybe into yeses. Because we know that it's possible when people come together. People are more than numbers. People are more than demographics. People are more than the summation of some statistical analysis for the purpose of capturing data for census. We are here not because of census. We're here because we build and have built a consensus. We have come together to determine to do what's right, determine to stand by and stand with each other. Justice does have a face. Although it's nice to, to do good, we are called to be good. And good ought to look like being good to Kristen. Good is being good to Yare. Good is being good to Alma. Good is being good to Karen. Good is being good to Christine. While I can talk about being good or wanting to do good, are we going to be good for folk like that? 
And I believe the answer in the room is yes, we will. 